too hard. Sticks big and green, I call my pocket the new heart. We don't pay attention to no loose talk, loose talk. Plenty times I had to let it cool up, cool up. And was dancing on me doing a moonwalk. Came with my AP, I had to let it cool up. Almost died from the money, had to take my jewels off. We don't argue with these people, we just let them tools talk, talk. Two hundred. Good evening from Oakland, California. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. Jay, you think of this building, Oracle Arena, Vince Carter won the dunk contest here. The Warriors have won championships in this building. You love this. It brings out the best. It's called the Oracle Experience. In 2016, the Golden State Warriors broke the single-season game record for victories with 73 beating the 96 Bulls. They still have the same cast in play. Now that's strength in numbers. Ten men on the floor. Let's do this. The Knicks begin the game with the basketball. Blocked away. Jesse racing mistakes left and right. Durant across the timeline. Gonna run the offense. Curry buries it on the catch and shoot. I don't know how he saw his man out in the cut like that. But that was nice. New York in control of the basketball. Smith to Jordan. Knocked loose. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. So the Knicks keep possession. Kevin Knox. Knocked loose. Warriors come up with it. Now push it. Let's attack and transition so we can build this lead. Green. Nice pass to set things up. Well, he finished strong because he was able to initiate the contact. When you initiate the contact first, you bounce off the defender, which balances you at the rim. Curry. Okay, another one goes down. They're right where they want to be. Exactly. Next play, you have to turn around defensively to get in the stance and actually keep that same kind of tempo. And that'll be out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Curry, four out of seven. Curry, out of 
obviously the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Yeah, I said it. But he's so good at driving and using his body to shield off the contact. Draymond Green with the block. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. It'll stay New York basketball. Dennis Smith Jr., his first effort off the mark. Curry into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. Knocked loose. Warriors have it. Yes, Clay Thompson. Two for two. That's what you want. Whew, I don't think anyone saw this one coming. But it looks like they're trying to send a message. Look into their eyes. They're laser focused. They're playing as if this game is tied. Smith to Jordan. Oh, he had it. But you can't just be a one-dimensional player. I know you're probably frustrated by me even saying that. But when you don't even give the option to pass the ball by utilizing some head fakes or ball fakes here and there, you save the defender by keeping them on their toes with the element of surprise. KD with the rock. Oh, big finish at the rim. Just wait a second, Ed. Wait one second. Can we go back to the play before this great play that we just saw? Just because you have a bad offensive possession, you can't allow that to go down and reciprocate itself on the defensive end. One bad play does not make two bad plays. You have to bounce back. That's how you play this game. And they bounce. Curry into the front court. His guys hold the commanding lead. Smith now into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Big finish at the rim. Finally. I mean, finally something goes their way. I don't think I need to tell you, but this has been a disaster of a first quarter. They just need somebody to get hot, and then they need to come together as a team and get a few stops. Knocked loose. Warriors come up with it. Curry. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. In Steph Curry with the rock from long range. Shakes free and hits. Look, that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do. That's called a heat check. Smith into the front court. His guys down big. That is great vision to set it up. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. I see the easy dunk, but what I don't see is energy. Scream, do something. Get yourself emotionally involved in the game. And Jordan able to secure the rebound. Knocks loose. Warriors come away with it. Curry buries the trifecta. He has an uncanny approach to the game. And did you see that? His eyes are his deadliest weapon. When he steps over half court, when he looks at the rim, that naturally throws the defender off. It makes the defender lean just a little bit. In just that millisecond of you wondering what he's going to do, splash is enough for him to explode. Dennis Smith Jr. matched up with the two-time MVP. Let's it fly from long range. Ah, Steph Curry. He's at 50%. Solid. His instincts are unnatural. But what makes him so good given the work he's put in? The special thing about Stephen Curry is that his entire life he has practiced great habits. A lot of players practice and get up shots, but they don't practice the right habits. And that comes with the lineage. His father, Dale Curry, making sure that he puts in the time and effort, but the proper skill with the time and effort. Kevin Durant rejects it. Ooh, five now. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball, especially in the draft room. You have to draft players with size and length. That's the biggest deterrent for any team offensive. Knocked loose. Hazonia matched up with Durant. To Green. Draymond Green missed his first. That one goes. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Smith with it up top. Down a bundle. The pass set it all up. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Curry has it. 
going to launch on the arc. Textbook defense. Probing the defense. DeAndre Jordan, look out. Jay, perhaps that's a start. Those kind of plays get me fired up. That's a momentum play. They look lifeless here in the first quarter, but a dunk like that can get your team going in the right direction. Smith, great dish to set it up. And he'll go to the foul line. That's actually not a bad move at all. You're applying more pressure on him by sending him to the line. Mario Hazonia at the line for two shots. A career 83% free throw shooter. Can't connect on the first free throw. Will recover. Hits the second free throw. Curry. Tough shot. He hits. Even though the coach initially may not like that shot, now he's clapping because that ball went in. Possession lies with New York. the basket at the rim. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Curry. Well defended. Kevon Looney sends it away. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Pick up, pick up, pick up. The drive right to the basket, and he's fouled. Nice move that time, and he's going to the line for two. Hey, look, sometimes you need to feel out your opponent. Let him know you're there. I'm okay with that early foul. Damian Dotson, a couple of free throws on the way. For his career, 69% at the line. Goes two for two at the line. It's Steph at the controls. Here's a chance in long range. That's good D. Shot no good. Sizing up the defense. Smith. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Livingston to Curry, beyond the arc for three, and Stephen Curry, the fastest release in the NBA, hits the three. Every hero needs a good sidekick. Nice find to set up the three. Give him two points, high percentage. No doubt about where that one was headed. Four three. Off the mark. Smith with the basketball. Less than a minute to go in a tightly played first quarter. Kevon Looney with a piece. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Alonzo Trier. To Dennis Smith Jr. Knock loose. Warriors have it. To Durant. Fires the three. Great defense. Forcing the miss. Dennis Smith Jr. Matched up with Iguodala. And a whistle. He took a chance. That's the right call. Gets the first free throw. No good on the second. It's a one of two trip. Oh, emphatic slam. That's how you punctuate a good first quarter. Three more left to go, but you've set the momentum for the second. Knock loose. Warriors come up with it. Fires the three. Won't go down. Deep three at the buzzer. So we played one here at Oracle with the Warriors on top. Jay and I back with more after this. You're watching the NBA on EA Sports. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Livingston lets it fly from beyond the arc. 
working hard on the glass to Durant. Scores from the post. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as a difference maker in this ball game is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot point, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive, but when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want. Possession lies with Golden State. For three, Knox with the board. Good at the rim. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. To Durant. Ah, Kevin Durant. That's three now on four shots. He's a modern day big that plays like a 6 2 guard. Scared. Alonzo Trier. Has a chance, old school, backs his man down for the basket. You feel that? I see the confidence building. From long range, still hasn't hit from deep in the first half. No good. Let's see what the Knicks can do here to Kevin Knox. Probing the defense. Driving right to the basket. Can't connect from in close. Iguodala to bring it up. He'll run the offense. Yes! And the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Well, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Missed it at the line. To Alonzo Trier. Knocked loose. Warriors come away with it. Keep your foot on the gas, but don't get too reckless. Let's it fly from long range. He has yet to hit one tonight. No good. Great feed. Finishing inside the paint on that one. I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. But take it when you can get it. such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Slam dunk, Alonzo Trier. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a problem city. Yes. Man, you making people dance out there? I see you with the footwork. Knicks with the basketball. Alonzo Trier. Great feed. Sets it up. Top shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. We get a whistle and a timeout by Golden State as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Free throws good for Curry, and the Warriors extend their lead. The possession lies with New York. Knock loose. Warriors have it. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. And Stephen Curry, we say it time and time again, not much the defense could have done there. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun, but the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. Curry, 
carries the wide open three. That's too easy. I know he's a volume shooter. I know defensively at times you have to take your lumps. Might be time to adjust the scouting report, though. Start denying him the ball. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Dennis Smith Jr. takes aim at Steph Curry. To Kevin Knox. The shot almost. Here's Curry with it up top. His guys holding the big lead. Yes, give the advantage to the shooter. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Curry with the ball. Going to launch beyond the arc. He engulfed him that time. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. And Steph, he can make that shot with his eyes closed. Wide open, knocks down the three. I know the refs on the court all the time, but it doesn't mean they can see every play. Maybe defensively, grab his jersey, step on his toe, do something to kind of change up his pace. And draws the foul. I say this a lot, and it's only because coaches harp on it all the time. Read the scouting reports. Know who you can and should send to the line. This is a case of knowing the shooter probably had a better chance of hitting a jumper than he does of hitting the free throws. Curry. Shot off the mark. Good defense. In the front court comes Smith. Looking to make something happen. And count the basket inside. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Curry. Smothering D. Javon Looney able to recover with the block. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Curry. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. Whistle blows. It's an eight-second violation. to contest Smith now into the front court his guys down big a bad pass there Warriors have it Curry no good that's great defense shoot or shoot period I don't want to hear any excuses that's why you're on the floor you keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence to Jordan Smith Scores plus the foul. DeAndre Jordan, another strong finish, going to the line for a chance at three. Ed, hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Curry. He was all over. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Now the Warriors going to call a timeout as they'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter. on that jumper. He takes that three despite the defender being right in front of his face. That's borderline disrespectful. Rises for the slam. And two years ago, I was sitting in the draft room absolutely shocked that Dennis Smith went at nine in the draft. And when I think about this young man's game, he is just scratching the surface of what he can do. He finished tied for fourth among rookies in scoring last season. And I guarantee you, his game is going to continuously go to different levels. New York in control of the basketball. Dennis Smith Jr. defended by Steph Curry. Jonas Jarebko snatching it out of the air. 
The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Smith now. Rebound taken by Jerepko. Curry to bring it up. His guys hold a commanding lead. Knocks it down. That was a tough shot. Look, that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do. That's called a heat check. Knocked loose. Couldn't keep it in. Out off Kavan Looney. Kevin Knox. To Dennis Smith Jr. Knocked loose. Warriors come up with it. Curry. And knocks it down. And Jay, the system produces once again. And there's no longer room on this court for players that cannot think on the fly. Especially in transition defense, you have to acknowledge and analyze the situation. If a guy isn't a shooter, almost jab at him and make sure you run out to the guys that are fanning out to the three-point shot. Stop that three-point shot and allow the defense to get back and maybe contest the shot at the rim for a layup. Now their head coach signals for a timeout. He'll gather the troops and talk things over. defense continues to give you high percentage shots you better take that every time knock loose warriors come away with it curry it's good for three not everybody possesses this power but wow what quarter waves knock loose jordan bell sends it away curry with the basketball his guys can hold for the final shot. Uh -huh. Good offense beating good defense. Even though the coach initially may not like that shot, now he's clapping because that ball went in. He wants it at the rim and scores. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Deep three buzzer a very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at halftime let's get you to orlando where we say hello to jalen rose in our ea sports halftime report jalen the warriors have built a comfortable lead it was their playmaking the way they gave each other scoring opportunities that really impresses me i love seeing unselfish basketball like that Fellas, back to you. First half, 
very one-sided. What will the second half bring? We'll find out as we're underway. Durant to Curry. Here's a chance from long range. That's how you defend. Give the defense some credit here. He killed them in the first half, driving and scoring at will. But now, it's lockdown time. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. Kevin Knox. And that's rebounded by Golden State. Curry into the front court. His guys lead here. Early stages, third quarter. Not easy. For average shooters, that's not a great shot. But for a great shooter, <laughs> that's a good look. Get the cameras out. Flash on. That's going to make a nice poster. It's Curry controlling the offense. Beyond the arc for three. Another one goes down. Did you ever think we'd see a night like this? Easy answer, no. Oh, he's denied. That kid can block out the sun. Man. Dennis Smith Jr. takes aim at Steph Curry. 4-3. Shakes free and hits. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Now the coach of the Knicks going to signal for a timeout as the coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. Shifting gears. Here comes some substitutions. Tips it. Eight now. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Pazonia against KD. Now ready to shoot at the line. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. Mario Pazonia has got two shots coming. Shooting 50%. Some yes, some no in this contest. The second one's good. Splits the pair. Three titles in four years. New arena next year, Jay, in San Francisco. Crazy to think that any of these Warriors would want to go anywhere else. It's the way they've been leveraging their brand off the court in Silicon Valley. You see guys like Kevin Durant, who have 35 Media, his only media production company, also making a ton of investments. You see Stephen Curry and Andre Vidal investing in e-game sports. They're able to leverage the business outside the business of sport, which is why I think they'll stay around in the Silicon Valley for a very long time. Smith with the basketball. He'll run the offense. Smith to the basket, but it stays out. The follow won't go either. In Steph Curry with the rock. Fires the three. Message received. Well defended. Knock loose. Warriors have it. Maybe pace it right here. They got a big lead at home. Curry. And the rebound comes down to Jordan. Nice pass to set things up. And he throws it down. Power play by DeAndre Jordan. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do. Curry can't go down. Smothering defense. Kevin Durant pins it. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Curry. Textbook defense. Dennis Smith Jr. defended by Thompson. Clay Thompson. Huge block. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Curry. Well defended. New York Knicks basketball. Smith, down low to Jordan. DeAndre Jordan, look out. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, 
That's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Curry in drills it. Jay, spacing can be a beautiful thing. Good there. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Curry. Not going down here. Smith. Azonia matched up with Durant. Warriors come up with it. Active fans to stay with it. We'll get a jump. After the tie-up, we'll throw it up and see who gets the possession. Curry into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. Smith goes to the left side. Now a drive, but the shot won't fall. And one of the most underrated things in this game is quick lateral speed. Oh, Draymond with the quick back slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. To Kevin Knox. Doesn't even see the defender. Buries the shot. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot in there. Fires the three. That's good D. Shot no good. Kevin Durant with the block. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Here's Curry with it up top. Looking to make something happen. And he buries it. Warriors come away with it. Curry. No good. Almost. And he's not getting the call. And you see so many players quit on the play after they were beat the first time. But not him. He stayed on his hip. He fought back. And he made the player miss the shot. That's great defense. Possession lies with New York. Dennis Smith Jr. Here against Steph. Surveys the floor. Short jumper stays out. Thompson. Tough shot. He hits. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Knocked loose. Warriors had it. Curry. Oh, Jay, he's shaking his head. The guilty party. He knows it's better to be lucky than good. Or he knows it was just a really bad shot that just happened to go in. But sometimes when the basketball heavens drop a gift in your lap, you take it. Coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Short jumper off the mark to Cousins. Trying to cash in. Cousins shot off the mark. And a flash. Scores at the rim. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Curry. He's not shy about shooting from out there, but he misses this time. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Smith on the drive, but a shot won't fall. To Cousins. Shot by Thompson, no good. Not loose. Defense forces the turnover, and it leads to points. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show, because that's what you're watching right now.
Alonzo Trier to Dennis Smith Jr. And a nice finish at the rim. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the side of the defense. Great defense, forcing the miss. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Thompson, he has certainly been on target from downtown. He's four or five from three-point range. Let me tell you why. He's been receiving his passes on time and on target. Give the passer some credit in this scenario as well. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. rock a -bye, baby. Oh, yeah, he rocked him to sleep on that one. Nothing going here on that drive to Curry. Doesn't have the touch. No good. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. He takes it right at them and scores. You have to fill in there. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here, because that was not an easy look. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Clay Thompson trying to cash in on a three-point play. A career 85% free throw shooter. Free throw good to cap off the three-point play as they continue to open things up here in the third quarter. Jordan to Alonzo Trier with the flush, taking on all comers. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. No good. Lamp goes down. Well done. Okay. You don't get a 10 for style points, but it worked. Thompson to Cousins. Yes! And a foul! Hell of a chance of a three-point play. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. And he missed the free throw. Let's see what the Knicks can do here. Not loose. This will get out of bounds. Last touch by Cousins. To Alonzo Trier. Not loose. Warriors come up with it. Curry. Misfires. It's no good. Jonas Jerebko rejects it. like that little margin for error just inside the arc at the buzzer third quarter comes to an end the warriors with a commanding lead the warriors with the basketball to begin the fourth quarter you figure they certainly had the advantage coming into this one jay that's how it's played out on paper, this wasn't set up to be much of a contest. If the crowd could have gotten into it early, maybe. But sometimes a team is so good, and you never had a chance to even stop. Nice pass to get things going. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's did. From the outside, no good. To Durant. Stops it down with authority. At this point, if it continues, it just may be good night, Irene. And some, ooh, I like that Irene line. There you go, Jay. And sometimes as a player on a defensive end, Ed, you need to draw a line in the sand. You have to find a way to change the narrative. Because right now, the constant theme has been too many easy buckets. Jay, don't deny it. You're an old soul at heart. Yeah, I still don't know who Irene is, though. Me neither. Huh? He engulfed him that time. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head.
in. Shot off the mark. Good defense. To Jordan. To Alonzo Trier. The drive. Wait. Oh! Out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. He's been dialed in from long distance. That's now five threes for the game. Nothing more painful than the next day watching tape, seeing the fact that he got 15 points off three-point shots. Lance Thomas, defended by Kevin Durant. Thompson to bring it into the front court. His guys hold a commanding lead. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. This is where I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off this game. Not loose. Lazonia, tough matchup against Durant. Gets it in the right corner. Durant, smothering D. DeAndre Jordan. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Now Kevin Durant with that shot. He's five for eight. You know, it reminds me of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. It's Golden State basketball to Thompson. Durant. Thompson. Now that's a contest. To Jordan. And counter at the rim. We get a whistle and a timeout by Golden State as they'll talk things over here in this fourth quarter. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Livingston to Green. Thompson. That's off the side of the rim, short. Alonzo Trier. Missed a wide open look. Thompson. No good. That's great defense. Knicks with the basketball. Alonzo Trier. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Too easy. Defense has to communicate. I know there are refs on the court all the time, but it doesn't mean they can see every play. Maybe defensively, grab his jersey, step on his toe, do something to kind of change up his pace. Not loose. Warriors come away with it. Green, deep left corner. To Sean Livingston for three. It's going to get a chance at three here for his career, 79% the line. And he connects on the first free throw. Second of three, no good. In the front court comes Smith. His guys down big, not loose. Warriors have it. Green, 4-2. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Add two points to the board. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Dotson against Clay Thompson. Nothing going here on that drive. 
Durant to Thompson. Gets it in the left corner to Sean Livingston from long range. Livingston can't get that one to go. Defense was all over him. Smith now into the front court. Down a bundle. Here comes the screen. Knocked loose. Dennis Smith Jr. defended by Draymond Green. Push that, push that. Oh, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. It's good. Count the basket and the foul. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Curry to bring it up. He'll run the offense. Let's it fly from long range. He was all over him. Knocked loose. Lazonia defended by Steph Curry. Going to launch beyond the arc. He'll take that any day. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Smith to Kevin Knox. Ah, oh, rock in the rim. He's been a one-man show, but Jay, they're still down in this one. He's their lone bright star, their only star tonight. Some other of the supporting yeah, cast yeah. members really need to step up. Knocked loose. Warriors come up with it. Curry. Tough shot. Well defended. Denied. Oh, big man doing work right there. Curry with the basketball. His guys holding the big lead. Gets it to go. Coach cannot be happy with that closeout. I know he's a volume shooter. I know defensively at times you have to take your lumps. Might be time to adjust the scouting report, though. Start denying him the ball. The possession lies with New York. Warriors come away with it. up with the putback slam. Mm, I remember my high school coach said one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. Cash is in for two. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Smith into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Layup's good. That's as high percentage as it gets. It's not a travel, Ed. You're allowed two steps after you pick up the ball. Now, these steps may be more east and west instead of north and south. But this is the new game that these young kids are playing. They, they're so athletic. I would imagine it varies from official to official. Or it varies from great player to great player. Why even try that time? I'm going to start calling him the windshield wiper. Just erasing all the mistakes. To Durant. And scores. You can forget about it when he uses that 7-5 wingspan to attack the puck. New York in control of the basketball. Knocked loose. Warriors have it. I tried to work the clock here, but you have to take care of the ball in this possession. Dennis Smith Jr. defended by Thompson. Nice pass to set things up. Count it. There's something to be said about a guy that can make the game easier for everybody else on the court. We call that dropping dimes, very similar to the way I'm dropping nuggets on this broadcast. I don't know, Jay. They have a big lead. This game is just about over. You might not make many friends on the other side with that three. Oh, I don't want to hear that generic coaching speak about dwindle down the shot clock, use the clock, the clock is your friend. No, if you have a chance to beat them by 50, beat them by 50. If you want to beat them by 100, keep shooting more threes. And Stephen Curry, we say it time and time again. Not much the defense could have done there. Knock loose. Warriors come up with it. Let's just let the clock run out. We got to get out of here. I got a dinner to go to. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. Smith. Couple of cracks at the line now. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. Dennis Smith.
Smith Jr. at the line for two shots, shooting 75% so far tonight. No good. Missed them both. Here's a chance from long range. And Kevin Durant, unguardable. Hand in his face, he still hits the three. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. And a throwdown. Where did that come from? It's like he got in an elevator and went to floor eight. And, and I have to say something, okay? 6'3", six, 6'5", six 5'11", those aren't small guys. In the big scheme of things, they're pretty tall compared to the average person in public. I feel like you're speaking from experience. Everyday experience, my friend. Every day. Knock loose. Dotson against the former Cougar. Team three at the buzzer. It's the Warriors who get the victory as they win this one in blowout fashion. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. The Warriors put their opponents away in a blowout. They did it with blocks, and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Golden State Warriors. The Knicks really lost big in this matchup, and you can tell it was tough on them. And it's games like this where veteran players can be so important. They've been through these types of blowouts, and they know what it takes to keep a locker room united. The Knicks relied on these guys for their scoring here today. Game track. Defense. The Golden State Warriors showed us how important defense can be in this league, especially when it leads to plenty of opportunities on the other end of the court. for the most obvious reason, and that's his scoring output. He couldn't be stopped, and it was incredible to watch. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this, except that he missed the title of this segment? He was definitely cold in this game. Here's our top plays of the game. Signing off.